Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial series. What we'll be talking about today is RDF player MP3 being interfaced with Arduino. So what we have here is the circuit fully connected. This is our Arduino Uno. This is our speaker. And this is the DF player mini. As you can see, the system is all wired up and powered. And right now we have a track on this SD card connected to the DF player mini. So right now I'm just going to try and restart the system and see if the track is going to play. As you can see, it's playing now. I don't know if you can hear the sound. So this is it. Basically, this is a speaker. Um, yeah, as the audio. Sitting back. This is a mini speaker, which can easily work with this Arduino without drawing much power from the Arduino. If you're going to be using a bigger speaker, you have to connect an amplifier to this in order to give that speaker the required sound. And if you are using an amplifier, you have to supply this device and the standard power. That is, you supply the amplifier its own power, thereby making sure you don't damage this Arduino because if this is very first current from here, it should fry. So, this is just Basically, how the system works, the step by step connection will be provided in the description of this video. Like I said, this is a DF player mini. There are a lot of projects you can do with this. You can use this to automate your project in such a way that you will have a voice feedback. For instance, if you're doing a series on this DF player, you do a smart door lock using this in such a way that. When you enter a wrong code, the system is going to tell you wrong code or access denied and all such, such a voice command like you see in the movies. So what we'll be doing after this, this is just the basic. What we did here was just to interface this DF mini to Arduino, giving it a track sound which is already indicated in the code that you should play track 1. So what you see here is that the moment the system comes up and the code is enabled, this system will pick up that code that says it's click that one and you're going to play it and you will hear it on this speaker. So right now, I'm going to drop a piece of paper on the speaker so you, you know that the speaker is playing. As you can see. You bounce up, so the sound you're seeing is not coming from an external source, but it's coming from the speaker. Look at it. As you can see. There you go. So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try and pick up this paper. Then I will start, I will reset the system, use the reset button, so I'm going to reset it, as you can see, I will suppress the reset button, there you go, as you can see, the sound has activated, as you can hear on the background, and the speaker is vibrating. That's why you're seeing this piece of paper jumping from point to point. So this is basically just an intro to the capability of this DF Mini player. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a complete series of over 50 videos on the kind of applications you can use this for. Security systems, kids toys, a lot of things you can do with this. Such a way that you program it to give you the exact sound you want. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of 3D printing for casing for most of the projects I'll be doing for this very series. So, I want you 
to, to talk for this video. We've seen here, we're going to be doing a lot of things with this the series. Like I said, I'll be giving you a breakdown in the next video of what the series is all about. You get the topics and all that. So, once the series is complete, you'll be able to download, watch every one of them over and over again for you to replicate this project. Like I said before, this project, we're going to be having the schematics that is a connection of this in the description of this video. We'll be having the code as well in the description of this video. So all you just need to do is to do your connection, upload the code, and try it out for yourself. Like I said, this DF Mini uses a memory card, and this is the memory card here. So this is what is required for this project. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. So welcome guys. This is the step-by-step -step connection process of the video you just watched. And in order for us to do this, we'll be going through the process of doing the connection. But before that, let's move. Let's check, let's check on the requirement, what we need for this project. One of them is Arduino Uno. Another one is the DF Player Mini. Speaker. Then one key resistor. And then jumper wires. That's one of the requirements we need for this project to be done. So right now, let's go into the step-by-step -step connection. So right now, the ground has been connected from DF Player to the ground of the Arduino as this entire circuit will be taking power from the Arduino Uno. So the ground pin here has been connected to this ground of the Arduino. As you can see, I left the key. This is the pin out of this module, as you can see here. This is the DF Mini Player. These are the pins, the pin out of this very device here. So this one here is the ground. So the ground has been connected. Now, VCC line has been connected. This is the VCC line, as you can see, the first pin at the top. So, after the VCC line is connected, the next one is the ROS. This ROS. Now, the reason, as you can see, there is a one key resistor between the Arduino Uno and the ROS pin. The reason for this is because of the fact that this device has a voltage tolerance of 3.3 volts at this ROS pin. So if you connect it direct, if you connect this pin uh, as in D11 directly to this ROS pin, it might go a long way to damage this or it might not even work. So the reason for this is to reduce the amount of voltage and current that will be coming into this device via this ROS pin. So that is the reason for this one key resistor. Now, the next one is to connect the TS. This is a TS pin and it's connected to D10 for Arduino. So, after the D10 is connected, what we need to connect next is the speaker. Now, this, this is the speaker, as you can see, it has two wires. Every speaker that is existing currently has two terminals that take power and audio to it. So this is the black and the red. For the black, it has been connected to speaker 1. Oh, this I don't know. This is speaker 1 and this is speaker 2. This is where you connect your speaker to. In order for you to get the audio that will be played on this mini MP3 player. So, as you can see, speaker 1 has been connected. So the next thing we will do right now is to connect speaker 2. So, speaker 2 now is connected to speaker 2 terminal. And once this is connected, the entire circuit for this tutorial series is complete. And as you can see here, this is the entire circuit you need for this tutorial to be done. What we need to do now is to do the Arduino upload. So, let's dive into the Arduino. So, right now, Arduino. ID has been launched. So, what we need to do right now is to
to load the code so guys this is the code for this project as you can see here now I'm just going to explain the basics but before we do that two libraries are required for this project to be able to work so what you need to do you just copy this software serial put to library you paste it here and you wait for it to load so a lot of them there are a lot of them here all you need to do is like uh, this untiny serial out this one as you can see here the various you, you can install any of them and it will still work so the next thing you need to do is to go to this DRO robot copy paste here and once it loads this is it as you can see it's a DRO robot in my case it's showing remove because I already have the library installed so in your own case you just need to hit the install button and you also be installed in order for you to be able to upload this cache so once you're done with that all you need to do now here these are the the, the, the pins for the ROS and TS ROS is allocated to pin 3 and TS to pin 2 of the Arduino D2 and D3 so you can also allocate yours to D10 and D11 as the case may be it doesn't matter you just need to decide where the output of the D DF mini will be interacting with the D uh, Arduino itself so in this case the TX is allocated to pin 2 and the ROS is to pin theory. Like I said before, always add a one key resistor or a lower maybe 256 ohms. Doesn't matter. Just make sure there's a resistor between 256 ohms to one key resistor between this ROS and the D3 of the Arduino. So the next part is just this part here is just create the player object and here this is where the serial port is initialized it's initialized at 9600 9, so that's where it begins so if you want to check it at the serial port make sure your band is on 9600 so what this does after the player has been initialized this one tells the player the volume level you can set this from 0 to 30 30 is the maximum volume for this DF mini so it says player dot play one what this means is you are specifying the, the particular track on the mini you want to be played that very mini can handle up to 32 gig memory card and up to a thousand music play all you need to do is to name them between 0 to 100 and allocate them to different folders so the system you just need to code and, uh, and tell the system to be able to uh, detect those folders and play each of the track one after the other but in this case we're just telling him to play track one so any music file you have bearing one whatever the extension after one is doesn't matter but as long as one starts it or zero zero one it's going to start playing that very track so your track should bear zero zero one or just one because this DF Mini doesn't understand the name of the track itself. So what you need to do is make sure you give it a language it understands. It understands zeros and one. So you name it between zero, zero, one, or zero, one, or one. You can start from one. Start naming them one. Then you can add underscore and put the name of the music and the artist in front of it. So that is just the basics. This is the code. So it's, not, it's not a long line of code as you can see. All you need to do is the word, come to tools, go to board, select Arduino AVR board, select Arduino Uno, if you, that is what you're using. If you're using Nano, you select Nano. If you're using Pro Mini, you select Pro Mini. Then for the port, you select the port that system allocates to your own Arduino. You can check that 
from the device, device manager to be able to know which port or better still check here once you're here you see the number of ports that are here unplug your device and check again the one that is no longer there is the port of that Arduino so once you connect and reshare the one that disappeared and reappeared happens to be the word the port number so you select that port number once you're done with that you hit your upload and once the upload is done what goes next is you power up your device and you start what enjoying your music so like you watch in the video this is just how it is done you can play as many tracks as you want this is just the basics of the interface interfacing of this df mini to arduino you can create a proper mp3 using this device there are there are a lot of libraries and the library is elaborate it explains how you can manage each of the session create a perfect mp3 player with pause, nets, previous and the rest. So we'll be doing that in the course of this series. Like I said, we have a lot of videos on this series which I'll be doing step by step. So once we get to that mp3 player design, we'll be doing it using an OLED as our screen to tell you what is happening in the DF Mini player and Arduino. So for now, this is just what you need to know to be able to achieve this project we just did. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that whenever a video is uploaded, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you once more for watching, and the details for this project, the sketch, whatever, the circuit diagram, everything is in the description. So do it to check it out, try yourself, and see how it comes out. Drop your feedback for me in the comment section. Thank you.